Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? How are you? I'm doing well. You are. It's like still Diwali right there, right? Yeah, it's still Diwali. Okay. Ha- yeah. Happy Diwali. And uh, guys, uh, we have with us today Dr. Visa Lakshi uh, Shiv Raman. She is doing. Uh, she is a resident. She is first a dentist from India. That is Mumbai. And then she is doing pursuing her masters in prosto uh, from the University of British Columbia, Canada. And uh, she was the recipient of the. Perry Fortune Academy uh, International Senior Student Award 2017 so uh, she will be and we will be discussing about everything like how you guys can go to Canada what all options you have and um, a very warm welcome thank you thank, thank you so much for having me and thank you thank you, you. No, no problem. So, ah, uh, please, dog, tell us like after BDS, what are exactly the steps one should take to a uh, stepwise guide? I would say so that we know exactly what are the things we we should be doing when we want to go to Canada because Canada is one of the most ah, uh, you know, um, uh, people just go want to go to Canada. I am not sure why, but ah, uh, that's the thing. So, um, so, um. Firstly, you need to figure Firstly, out you figure your out career your objectives. Career objectives. Um, okay. um, what you want to pursue. Want to pursue. Right. This could uh, this range, could, range uh, from like everyone, like everyone has different interests, interest, right? Interest, some people are interested some, in yeah, research. Some, research people some people are interested in administration. administration. So, um, so um, it's a personal it's choice. A personal choice. So, so when you so figure out what you want to do, then you can pick an option. if you right. still if not still sure, not about, sure what about what you want to do want after, to after do you come to canada, come to canada then, I would, then I would just coming here, just coming here um, um trying, to experience, trying to experience the culture the, the place, place the, people, the people and seeing and if, see um, if it's, uh, for you. it's for you and also, and also um, probably, uh, observing probably observing with a dentist, with a dentist so, you so you understand how dentistry how works dentistry here, works here. Um, and, um, then and then you have, you different, have different options. options. The, first option the first option is, is pursuing dentistry directly, directly after you finish after your um, finish dentistry in India. India. So that is so like that an is equivalency, equivalency process. process. That is the NDEV equivalency process. Okay. So you have to give so a series of exams, exams. Right. typically three of them, and that's spread over a couple of years. Right. Two years, two three years, years. It depends on depends how many attempts you take to clear, to clear, clear it. Clear it. So, so um, once you do once that, you, do that uh, you, can uh, you can directly practice as a licensed dentist, dentist in Canada and New Zealand. Okay. The, the second, second option you have is you after have you give the first stage of the three-part three exam, exam, you can right. use you that can exam use that score to apply to dental school. Okay. If we want to study further there. Yes. So, okay. so um, um many people choose many people to go choose back to, to dental, back school, to dental because school because dentistry is a little different, different here, here the way it's practiced so, uh, it's, so important uh, it's important to learn the rules, to learn the, rules the policies, the policies um, um you know, you know uh, the work, work culture, culture and everything, culture, here. everything here so, yeah, so uh, dental, uh, dental school is a good, starting, is a good point starting point for a lot of people, lot of people. figuring out um Whether you want to get into full fledged dentistry, dentistry, or you want to get into masters, get masters or you know, or an allied option an allied like MPH, LA, MHA, MHA, or something like that, something like that. Yeah. Um. Then um, you would then you most likely most try, to try to do an allied do course an allied like course dental, dental hygiene, hygiene or assistance. Assistance. Okay. So dental, so dental hygiene dental and assistance are great, are great, great options, great which options, I recommend which to a lot of my clients. My clients. Um, to, uh, to understand, understand the dental scenario, the scenario here, here. Yeah. and to, and to um, practice, uh, practice in a dental setup, a dental setup with, yeah. a dentist. with a dentist. So, so whilst, whilst earning money, earning money and, yeah. and uh, so it's a great, so option. It's a great option. And yeah. you're in and dentistry you're when you're a hygienist, you're a hygienist, you do a lot of important, lot of important significant work for the work dentist for as the well as an assist chair side assistant. In my opinion. Is one of the most of enriching the most experiences enriching anybody, can have. anybody can have. Even yeah. if you're a Even dentist you're a in dentist India, in if India, you get the chance get to, the chance to, you know, chair side assist somebody, somebody who has done a lot of procedures, lot of procedures. Yeah. you learn a lot you by just observing, by observing and seeing. And seeing. 
Right. So I so would uh, I recommend, recommend that, that, as well. that as well. If you're still figuring you're still out still what, figuring you, want out what you want to do, and, uh, and the non-clinical, uh, non-clinical options include public health, public health hospital, hospital administration, administration, bioinformatics, bioinformatics medical transcription, transcription uh, uh, MBA uh, in healthcare. healthcare. So, so there are a lot of options lot of in that uh, um, avenue as well. I uh, like read somewhere MSc in oral biology. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so the master's, the master's here is called an MSc. An MSc. You get okay. a master's of science master's in craniofacial science. biology. biology. So you can so combine you can that combine with that a clinical with course, a course like what I'm doing, what prosthodontics, I'm doing. endodontics, etc. Right. etc. Et uh, or you can purely do a research-based research master's, masters, which is an MSc in research. MSc research. Okay. And you won a research grant in MSc research project, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, how did you do that? How you got that? So, uh, so uh, after, I after I joined university, university and, and um, um, we have to choose have to choose a research topic research and a supervisor. Topic, supervisor. Yeah. Uh, and I'd already uh, come already with an idea when, when I joined UBC, UBC because, because, I, was because I was very interested in doing research on 3D, research 3D printing. On 3D printing. Right. So, um, so um, I sought I a supervisor, saw a supervisor and then we decided our decided research our and then we applied to the, applied the government of Canada, Canada for a research grant to support our research. Our research. Yeah. Um, um, and luckily, and I, was lucky I was lucky and lucky fortunate, fortunate enough, enough to, to receive, receive it. it. So that's so, how, okay. it went. how it went. Right. So uh, what are the main three exams you were talking about that a BDS has to appear to move to Canada? So the first so one the is first an one MCQ is based exam. exam. It's called an assessment called of an fundamental, assessment fundamental knowledge. knowledge. Okay. Um, uh, it includes all the subject all the from subject first year to final year of BDS. Year of BDS. Right. Uh, you have three uh, attempts, have to, three clear attempts to clear this. Okay. The second the exam second is exam called is assessment called of clinical judgment. Clinical judgment. Okay. So in this, so you're given so a given set of uh, radiographs, photographs, and you're asked to make a treatment plan. Right. Um, and you know, and give your op- give options your and opinions, opinions, opinions on the case. On the case. So it's clinical based, so clinical based right. like the name suggests. Like the name suggests. And you also have and three attempts to clear, attempts this. to clear this. And the third and one the third is one assessment is of clinical, clinical skills. skills. So, oh, so here you're physically you're performing, performing procedures on a mannequin, crown preps, etc. Et so, so that's yeah, those that's are the three exams the three you have exam to clear. And it happens like once every year or twice. So it happens twice a year for AFK uh, and ACJ and ACS, all of them. They're all in different months and the registration typically closes a couple of months in advance. So before you can even register for any of these exams, you have to register with the NDEB Canada uh, on their online portal and create a profile and stuff like that. And then once you register, you have to send your documents for verification. And they take about eight months to verify documents and send it back. So it's a long wait time. Yeah. Unfortunately, due to COVID, they have stopped registration because they don't want to handle, you know, physical yeah. copies of your documents. So, okay. So, um, what about visa? Is it like easily accessible or it causes problems? Visa is easy to get, both visitor visitor and student and and permanent residency. residency. So I'll talk a little bit about permanent residency residency, uh, visa. So So I don't know the details, details, but but I can certainly tell you that that when I applied to dental school here, I was an international student. But before I joined the program, I got my PR. Mm-hmm. And that was all and thanks was all to thanks Westway, Westway Immigration, immigration uh, based, yeah, in based in Toronto, who did my who did visa, my process, visa for me. process for me. You can email them email at them info at the rate of westwayimmigration.com West for, for any information that you need. That you need. And uh, they'll and be happy to guide happy you with the visa process. visa process. So yeah. the permanent residency yeah. is, like is like a green card in the US. So it's, yeah. so it's the same. So the benefits so the of benefits that are, that you know, are the, the ones that I initially uh, described, uh, described, the free health care, education, education, education. Um, um, student, loans, student loans, are student loans are easily accessible. accessible. So, so you, get so you get government student government loans, loans as well as, as private as bank private student loans student at very, very low interest, interest rates. rates. Government student government loans are actually interest free right now. Okay. So, uh, so imagine not having to pay interest on your loans. Like, like that's a dream, yes, right? Yeah. Exactly. So you don't have to take a loan from India, India when you're coming, when coming here, here or whichever country you're coming country from. from. So, so that's okay. a big advantage so, in my opinion. my opinion. And there is a question that there is a change in NDBE to INDBE. Are mm-hmm. you aware mm-hmm. of this change and its process? 
uh they uh, haven't they really haven't released, released the official details, details of it but yes so, i know yes, that, I know uh, that uh, there is a there change is in the process, process but they haven't but released they haven't the official details. official details i'd be so, happy to I'd learn more to about, about it if about someone would like someone to tell me about it sure and like why you what's your journey why you choose canada and like you were a dentist here you were doing well in the experience i guess and skills so why you choose Uh, uh i've always I've wanted always to study, study abroad. abroad it's been a dream okay. of mine and uh, when i was exploring my options i came across canada and i thought it's a great uh, option for me uh, financially and visa wise so you know i didn't have to have the stress of being on a student visa paying double the fees you know yeah. not being sure of whether i'm going to go back to india going to stay here or you know so Yeah that's why yeah, I chose Canada, I chose because, Canada because, because it fulfilled all my career, career objectives, objectives and right. they have great courses have here and UBC and is UBC one of the best one universities the best in the world in the so world. why not yes. why not and what are the expenses there is one question like overall if we see if i have to go to canada after my bds so approx in indian rupees how much it will be costing like it depends on visa. which uh, okay you're talking about you're talking exams, exams so roughly so the, the If you're going for the so equivalency the process, process, right, right from, the right from the registration to couriering your documents to registering to for the exams, exams uh, it should uh, cost you approximately twelve thousand dollars. Okay. In total. In total. So, so you can you roughly can make an roughly estimate, make out, of estimate out of that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. like in total costing, if we want to go to a college, if we want to join a college, and then and because uh, most of the students will be staying in and maybe uh, on rent. So mm-hmm. what's the costing for that? Maybe food expenses. So roughly, so roughly it depends. It firstly, depends on, firstly where you on, go. on where you go. Yeah. Uh, some cities uh, some are more cities expensive, are expensive than others, than others. But, roughly but roughly you're roughly looking at a minimum rent of around six hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, and okay. higher end can higher go up to how much ever you want. This is, want. is for like a this shared like accommodation. A shared accommodation, right? Yeah. Not like your own Not place like your or whatever. Place so, whatever. so yeah, um, uh, that's one thing. That's and your living your expenses, living expenses, your food expenses. Food expenses. Uh, so, uh, so many universities, many universities have a food have plan, plan if you're living on campus. Living on campus. Okay. So, so it's about it's it depends. About, it depends. It differs from university to university. to university. If you're going to buy your own, own groceries own and cook, and cook um, uh, you're looking at roughly around two hundred dollars a month, 200 as, 200 grocery month as grocery bill. Right. It can it range. Can depends range, on depends if you're living alone, living alone with a family, yeah, family with a spouse. With a spouse so, right. But yeah, it shouldn't yeah, go it beyond, that, beyond that. For grocery expenses. Um. Yeah. And like, how long did it take for you to get the permanent resident card? We have another question. So, so I got my I got PR, card PR card after I landed here within a week. Within a week. Okay. But, uh, But uh, it took me it took eight, me eight and a half to nine half months to get my confirmation get my of permanent residency. residency. Right, and to appear yeah. for the exams, we have to appear in Canada, right? Yes. Yes. Or there are Or centers there are outside, outside also outside in, the US, in the US, Paris, Paris okay. Hong, Kong, Hong Kong, New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. But I guess not in India. India doesn't has a center. No, no, no. no India no. doesn't have a center. Okay. And we have very, uh, we have too many questions. So just let me go through it. Um. So you went to Canada through PR? No, because you got it after like few weeks. So, so I'll tell you what I'll happened. Tell you what happened? When you are applying yeah. for a you master's program, master's you have to apply have a whole, to year, apply in whole year in advance. Right. So, I, if so I had to I join in 2019, 2019, I had to apply in 2018, 2018 May. May. They call you for an interview in 2018, 2018 September. September. Okay. So you have to come to Canada. I had to come to Canada for the interview. Right now, it's online because of COVID. So I yeah. came to Canada in 2018 September on a uh, visitor visa for a two-day interview, and then flew back. Flew back. That time I was on a visitor visa. And when I went back, I applied for my PR because my eligibility requirements were met. Right. And once that was once met, that I could apply for my PR, apply. and it took PR. me eight and a half to nine months to get my PR. my PR. So yeah. when I landed so for the second, time, second time here, here to, start yeah. to start my program, I had my PR, had my PR with me. Okay, 
all right and like what's the exam process you explain but uh, what's the study material that we need to clear those exams so there's a so lot of a lot um, of, um solved papers solved you papers get, you get. Um, okay. it's available on their website, their as, well. website so as well so you don't so have the answer have keys the answer but they are the question are papers. The question papers so i would encourage so would you to encourage go to the question to papers to understand, to understand um, um what you need what you need to study and stuff, study and stuff. Uh, okay. apart uh, from that uh, i do uh, have do some have stuff some that i help people with like study material for afk so if you're interested you can reach out to me and i can help you out with that exactly and you were talking about like which sites to go through the ndeb the just NDEB, google ndeb 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 canada NDEB. okay okay right yeah okay um uh, someone uh, says that you missed speaking about osce and licensing exam yeah. uh, after, after AFK, the equivalency, equivalency. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so after uh, what's that three exams, three exams there is yeah. an osce and a written OSCE exam written which you have to give in the end Okay. So to get your so final get licensure. Your final okay, right. Yeah. Yeah. And when we get all this done, uh, do we have to get ourselves registered there as a dentist also? Yes, there is a there registration is a that you need to do with the College of Dental College Surgeons Dental or whichever, whichever province, province you are in. Um, uh, if like I'm just BDS, I'm going there. I have to appear for an exam. I have to clear it, and then I get the registration, or I have to apply. Maybe I'm a student there. I have to apply in a dental school, and then I will get it. No, no. You no, finish no. your equivalency, equivalency process, process. You clear all your exams. Okay. You clear your OSCE written, written exam, and then you get a registration. Get a registration. So for registration, oh, they do a criminal record criminal check record and stuff check like that as well right. to give you your license. Give you your yeah. License. yeah. Okay. and uh, like as we have discussed about the job opportunities so and there was something yes uh, dorab ji tata trust scholarship you got that i guess in yeah. india yeah. so yeah. W- yeah. what's yeah. the story for that so dorab ji so tata Dorabji just tata gives scholarships to bds students, students when they are studying, when they are studying. So, so you have there's a certain cut off percentage. percentage you have to get a okay. certain um, um, mark mark or percentage right. to be eligible to apply for it so uh, my college was affiliated and like we knew about the rajji tata trust scholarship so that's how i was able to apply for it and get it okay and like in canada right now at what phase are you at that's one question what does I guess, that mean uh, uh, maybe it means like uh, what are you currently doing and uh, you have got your pr we know that so have you completed your uh, prostho or you are going through that currently pursuing yes i am a current yes, prostodontics pros- resident at uc okay. okay and that's for 2 years there it's a 3 year program 3 year program all right so guys i guess i i thought it would be a longer session but my questions are mostly over and how do we and how can we get a scholarship there in canada so every university, so every university has, different has different scholarships available, available de- depending, depending on who on has, who has provided, provided an endowment, an endowment to the university. Okay. university so they have, so they have internal, internal scholarships, scholarships in the university, in the university. And, right. and there are also there external, are also external scholarships, scholarships available, available. Uh, so, uh, so every so university every typically has typically like has a research, like a research uh, education uh, officer who uh, sends you the information uh, about uh, opportunities about for different scholarships, scholarships. Uh, universities, uh, here universities here also have collaborations, have collaborations with, with universities with abroad, universities abroad. Right. So, with, so um, with um, say Hong Kong, Hong Kong or other universities, other universities. So, they so they do give you opportunities, you opportunities to apply to those scholarships, to those scholarships, scholarships as well. As well. Um, um, and they encourage a lot of international, international um, collaboration. Um, collaboration. So there are scholarships so there are for that as well. That as well. Okay. And can we do MDS after clearing first exam? That is AFK. So for the, so for the uh, MDS, uh, there's, a MDS diff- there's a dif- different process. Different process. Uh, if uh, you're right. already an MDS, MDS, from, MDS from, India, from India, there is yeah. a DSCKE exam, DSCKE exam exam. that is a dental is a specialty dental core specialty knowledge core exam, exam that you can give. That you can give. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you so you have to, uh, have to uh, apply, apply, fill the uh, self-assessment, self-assessment checklist. checklist. Now, unfortunately, now, unfortunately for, for oral, oral surgery, surgery they're not eligible to give the DSCKE because the self-assessment checklist says you have to have finished a four-year oral surgery program. And in India, oral surgery is for three years. 
so okay, if you come so here, you come here after you do your oral surgery in india you can't, you can't directly practice oral practice surgery even, even if to clear the exam clear the exam right so you yeah. have to so sit the dsck the exam so the same thing so you register thing, right? you fill a form so online sit so the dsck if you pass the exam you can apply to the university Okay. And every and university every has something has called something a gap called program, gap program right. which is typically one year. Typically one year. Okay. So, they so they pick candidates whom they feel are suitable, feel are suitable with right. considerable experience, with considerable experience. Who, can who can go through that training program, that training program, for, program one year, for one year and graduate and from, from the university from as specialists. specialists. Yeah. So you, so get, you a get a license. You don't get a degree, get a degree. even though you go through the university, okay. you get a license at the end of it. Right. All yeah, right. so you got a specialist yeah, a license. license. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one more question. Um, in us, it is like one part is to be given after the third year BDS. Mm -hmm. Is something mm -hmm. same there for Canada too? In US, in US no. So, so in so Canada, in for, Canada the for the equivalency, equivalency process, process, when they're doing, when they're your, doing assessment your assessment of documents, of documents you they need your original need degree. Your original degree. Okay. So you can only get your degree after you finish your internship. So you can't uh, give the exam before you finish that. Okay. And having a PR has advantages in getting a seat or fee-wise? Is it like any advantages? Fee-wise, yes. yes. Because your fees okay. is the hazard of a domestic student. If you're international, it's almost double. So you're saving a ton of money there. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's the biggest that's advantage of being advantage PR, and there's no, there's no uh, advantage, uh, advantage of being selected being if you're domestic, domestic because they do have, they do have a lot of uh, seats, uh, for, international seats for international students, students and they encourage, and they encourage uh, international, uh, international students, students to come here. To come here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did you do the PR formalities on your own or through an agent? I guess through an agent. Yes, so I, so I did it through Westway Immigration. Westway immigration. They're based in Toronto, based in, Toronto, in, Toronto Canada. in Canada. Right. Um, and if you, you can reach to out to them out at them info at the rate of Westway Immigration dot com, dot com if you want. If you want. Right. Uh, which universities uh, shall we go for? Are there what should we look for while we are go, uh, like listing out the universities? Um, so when so I was when looking I for was universities, looking it was about, about the course about mainly. The course mainly. Also, also the place the where I'm going because I didn't want to go to a very to cold, cold place. place. Right. So, um, so um, I, I don't know. I, I Some people know. are fond Some of the cold, the cold and they like and they cold like places. Cold so places. maybe yeah, yeah, that would be a good idea for them. But, for them. but I'm a total, I'm like, a total like warm body. body. I need warmth, I need warmth all, all the time. All so so yeah. Vancouver weather is amazing. And the uh, winters aren't winters harsh. harsh. So right. that's how I chose Vancouver. It's beautiful. Yeah. We I saw your photographs. So it it is. Yeah. Um, how should the resume look like to apply for NDBE? And especially if we do some research from India, if we volunteer in some org organizations or NGOs, and if we have a strong resume in India, will that be beneficial out there? You need a CV or a resume for your ND process. Because it's a purely exam-based process. So there's no CV or interview or anything like that. Uh, your CV will really count when you are going to apply to schools here. For any program, public health, healthcare administration. So your CV has to be customized to the course you're applying to. Right. If you're applying to ENDO, I don't want to know how many complete dentures you've done. Exactly. I don't want to know how many perio surgeries, how many implants you've placed. Tell me things which are relevant to endo. Yeah? Right. If you're applying to public health, I want to know whether you have experience in public health. I want to know whether you have worked with people or NGOs or you know been exposed to that kind of stuff which is required for applying to public health programs. So your CV basically has to reflect what you want to do in the future. Simple. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, do we need job experience for PR? Yes, there is yes, a minimum is a requirement, requirement of one year of one year work of experience, work experience after your internship. Right. So internship, so internship is not, is not uh, counted uh, as work experience. As work experience. 
Okay. So you count your so you work count experience your work from the date, from the date, on, your date on your degree. That's the right. day you graduate. So one year after so that after is that when you finish one year of work experience. Work so you need a minimum of one year of work experience before you can apply for a PR. Okay. Okay. Uh, you said you took MSc in prosthodontic. What is the fee for that? Was there any option for loan application or you do the scholarship? So, uh, so uh, can you break that question break again? That question? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, fee structure and is there an mm -hmm. option for loan application or we can go through a scholarship? So the fee structure, so the fee structure for me structure is around uh, forty-eight uh, thousand dollars per annum, per annum okay. which is split into three split terms. Into three terms. Um, right. um, uh, that, includes uh, that includes everything. Your it in, includes your bus includes pass, your as, bus well, pass well, as well. By, okay. the way. by the way, like your commute is included in yeah. your fees. Yeah. So you don't have yeah. to pay separately for that. It includes that your includes athletic your fees. Athletic UBC has a okay, huge has a indoor huge aquatic indoor pool. Aquatic it's an Olympic sized pool, pool with a sauna and a jacuzzi, sauna, which is jacuzzi, insane. insane. And they have like a huge sports center and a stadium and where you can, play, you can play whatever sports whatever you want. Sports so your you fees want. covers all of that. Covers your clinic that, fees, material fees, fees for all the courses you're taking. You don't have to pay per course. Okay. So all that is included, so all in, that. included in that. And as far as, as the far loan as was loan considered, was I took a loan took from a loan the Canadian from government, here, government here. Okay. Um, which uh, is interest which free. Is interest -free. So, so there's a provincial there's loan and there's a national loan. So you get a combined loan, which is a government loan. And also I took assistance from private banks here. So there's something called as a professional student line of credit that private banks give you. They loan you a sum of money for a low interest rate and you have to start repaying that one year after you graduate. Okay. Yeah, as yeah, far as the scholarship goes, scholarship I did apply to scholarships and I did get a sizable amount of scholarship as well for financial support. So that really helped me. Okay. Um, take care now, what is the one year gap program called? The one year gap program is the DSCKE gap training program. All right. Um, are IDA and the CDE scores beneficial? The CDE points we used to get, you know, for the conferences or for presenting posters? Uh, not, really. Uh, not really. They don't ask they you don't for, ask a for a CDE point, point per, per, se, per se. But yes, but you, yes you, you can show that you've attended, attended certain, courses certain courses and it is and beneficial. It is beneficial. Uh, yeah. uh, of course, you're improving course you're your improving own personal own skill and knowledge, skill set, and knowledge as well. set as well. And yeah. it also helps it the also university helps understand, understand what your strengths, what your strengths are, are and which and areas, areas, you're areas you're more exposed to. Exposed to. Right. If we come to Canada on PR, then what are the jobs related to dentistry we should look for? Um, um, you can look for dental look hygienist, for dental hygienist assistant. assistant. Currently, there's actually a shortage of dental assistants. So, so people are looking for are looking dental assistants. Um, uh, you can even try, can even try medical, medical transcription. transcription. Right. You can try you can medical try assistance. Medical um, you can do you can a do short, a course, short in course in forensics. forensics. Um, right. So, a lot of other lot of stuff. Other if you have a lot of experience, um, you know, you've run your own you've clinic your for own probably clinic 10 probably years 10 or something years. and then you're moving here. You can also you can pursue also an pursue executive an MBA. MBA. Okay, so that right. is for uh, mid-career professionals, mid -career who, professionals have who have considerable experience. experience. So right. you can do the can MBA, MBA on a, as a weekend as course. A weekend course. Right. Uh, do we have an age limit to the three technical basic courses we talked about? Uh, no, uh, there's no age there's limit. No age. Three, no technical age limit. Three technical courses, as in? Uh, the one, the basics uh, we talked in the initially, like after BDS, the, the exams? three basic courses. The exams? the exams, yeah. Yeah, no, exams yeah, don't no, have exams a change don't limit. Have age limit. Okay. And yeah. while you were doing, while you were studying in the dental school, do we get the chance or should we actually uh, work somewhere else as a part-time? The thing the with, thing it depends on which, course, on you're which course you're doing. So for so like DDS like and DDS masters, masters, there's not there's time, there's not much time right. to work outside. Work it's a very outside. intense very course. Intense course. Yeah. So, so your, most so of your time is devoted in doing assignments, assignments. 
uh, studying uh, for exams, for exams preparing for seminars preparing presentations and things like that things like that okay all right mm-hmm. just a second we have many more questions um okay in india selection of course in pg is based on neat rank is the same there no so there's no neat so rank, no rank here the selection of the course selection is of based, course on based on the university, the university, university you, apply you apply to so here yeah, you, so here you apply, apply to a particular to a course, particular course. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. you apply uh, only to apply ortho, ortho in xyz, XYZ university, university and okay. it's their choice their to choice accept or reject you based, based on your interview and your and whatever, whatever exam, exam they take for you they like your bench test. test right so exactly yes. there is no one overall exam there are individual uh, the exams the college the college or the university conducts yeah it's an, yeah, interview, it's process. an interview process so some, so, some uh, universities, uh, universities like for example in ortho in the us there is a match program so after you call for the interview and suppose you get like you don't know the result of your interview you're still waiting but after your interview or even after you've been accepted you have to apply to the match program so if in the match program you match with the university you apply to then you get accepted into the program okay so right. yeah so, so yeah. that is one that caveat is one that caveat is there that in is certain, there courses. certain courses if we do everything there and after maybe you know like we are practicing there and after mm-hmm. maybe 5 10 years we think about returning to india mm-hmm. so what about mm-hmm. that um, like of course we are eligible here because we have been registered to our own council so mm-hmm. we can practice that right uh, there is no special different exam we have to apply So if you so are if you, are if you are still a, have your have dental your license dental with license. India you don't yeah, have you don't to have retake, to retake any, exam. any exam. Okay. So you have to maintain so you have your dental license in India to India, practice dentistry, dentistry in, India. in India. Now if you finish your specialty here and you want, you want to go back to, to India and practice only that, that specialty, that specialty that then you have to yeah. give an exam. Okay all right. Yeah. Because uh, Because, even uh, though your license I mean your degree is valid everywhere you still need a license a specialty license. So right uh, can you please tell us about few research programs in canada so, uh, so common, uh, research, uh, programs common research programs are called, programs are called msc, MSC. Uh, okay. in cranio facial uh, biology. biology so yeah. you can so you choose, can choose what, research what research you want to do want in which stream which you want to do you also you have, also the, have option the option of switching to a phd in the second year of your msc So some, okay. people, some after people after joining the MSc, MSc feel that they want to do a PhD. Do a PhD. You you can do that. You, you have to apply, that, and if the university and agrees, the university agrees, then you can switch then to a PhD. To a PhD. Right. So MSc so can, can involve any topic that you want. It could be a qualitative or a quantitative or research. Research. Qualitative okay. could be a uh, public health public or a subjective. Or a subjective uh, you know a research like, like filling gaps filling in knowledge, gaps knowledge with respect to right. awareness or knowledge about a certain aspect in dentistry if we want to go ahead with forensics we can do that also yeah so yeah. There, are there are a few colleges which offer, which offer uh, it's, not it's not particularly dental, particularly dental. but yes okay yes. general all general. right yeah uh, how much uh, experience should we have while uh, to get a pr minimum of 1 year, year work experience, one year. experience after internship after internship right and uh, as you said in the beginning that if we uh, apply if you are applying the, for the exams in canada we are also eligible in new zealand So, so if you get uh, your you get license, license general dental yeah. license in canada you can also yeah, practice, can also in, new practice in new zealand they have a pact okay. they have a pact okay so uh, like especially for new zealand we don't have to apply there no it's the same no, so if you want to move to canada or new canada zealand it's up to you up to but the process, okay. is the, process is the same okay all right um just let me go through more questions i can i think most of them you have answered completely and clearly um guys do we have any more questions if i have if missed I out have anything missed out and i apologize, and I apologize, for, apologize it, for it but uh, if, uh, if you still have more questions, questions you can reach out to me reach out on yeah, my email id exactly. which is dentistry.can@gmail.com dentistry. dentistry. 
so when you're talking so in a flow and you're answering flow, questions sometimes you sometimes don't yeah. you miss things you miss and things you know you don't say all of it all like of it. i missed the like oski and, and the um, right right you know the written exam the part written but exam yes part. when i do a presentation do it's a in front of me so i know yeah. exactly <laughs> what it is yeah. but when i'm talking exactly. freestyle talking sometimes freestyle i miss sometimes it. i also have written down the questions you know in this wise i will be asking but something in the answer some question come up so it yeah. tend to get yeah. messed up yeah yeah Uh, from where and how do you start preparing from nbed exams first resource first would resource be online, would be online. Go, to go to their website they have resources, have resources there resources, reading links, reading links. Um, um they have papers, they have as, papers well. as well please go through go that, through that. Um, um secondly i would secondly, encourage, I encourage you to uh, seek uh, Uh, the uh, NBDE the NBD exam, of, exam US. of US. You can also, if you have so the study have material study for that, you can go that, through, that, go as through well. that as well. And read all the new classifications for you know periodical classification, endo classification, because that's important. Your basics don't Your change. Basics don't Anatomy, change. physiology, Anatomy, physiology, biochemistry doesn't, doesn't change. change. It's just in it's clinical just dentistry, clinical it's dynamic, dynamic and there are new concepts, new concepts which come up and new classifications, and classifications that, are made. that are made. So you should keep so yourself, you should updated, keep yourself updated, updated about all that. that. Just keep reading just keep dentistry. Reading dentistry. Okay. Uh, can we apply for PhD directly? After what? After what? Depends. Depends. Exactly. That's not written. Um, can so we, if you want uh, to do a PhD, you, PhD, you need considerable experience, experience in, uh, research. in uh, research. Research. Uh, typically they're looking typically for a looking masters, for masters candidate someone candidate, who's already someone finished, who's finished their masters, finished their masters. Okay. or even if you are a dental a dental general, general dentist and you have, and you have a lot of publications, lot of publications uh, in yeah. creditable journals yeah. journals Right. Uh, which have, uh, which have been, cited been cited quite a few times, yeah. few times. then your chances yeah. of getting to a PhD, PhD are high, high but, but it's rare. It's rare. Right. All yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, can you please explain uh, the New Zealand exams connection with Canada? I, I don't know how I to explain that. Explain. I'm sorry. I just sorry. know that they have a pack they have a and pack. that you get a license here so you can practice over there i'm not aware of the policies that the governments have right so in short if we uh, if we can practice in canada we can do that in new zealand as well with the equivalency exam license yes right <laughs> All yeah. right. I yeah. might not know, everything, not know everything, but I've been through but the process through myself the process. in yeah, a very exactly. painful, painstaking way for many years, many years, and I did it by myself. I by myself. And I right. know and that, I know that all, the all the advisors whom I went to were just picking stuff off the internet and telling me and telling me this is not possible and that is not possible. So. So I was just I like was just everyone told everyone me you told can't do masters. Can't do masters. There was not a there single not person who okay. told me that masters that is possible. Masters is possible. Everyone Hang said you have, have you. you have to repeat your DDS. Everybody, Everybody said, said you have to repeat. Have to repeat. So, I like, so I was like, why do people, why not, do people know not know about, know this? Know about this? Why? Why, why, is, there why is there a lack of information? Of information? Like, like, there has to be someone, to be someone who can who guide. Can guide Dentists, dentists who are, who are already, already there practicing, there practicing or you know or aspiring you know, dentists who are in their third or final year internship because that's the time when you're actually thinking about your future so i started so thinking I started about this when i was in my third year my and third i just year. went like what is this like this is not possible is not and it's possible. so expensive so oh if you take low and it's 14 percent interest from this bank i was like it's too much of course finance plays a big role right of course of course no Nobody is going to say, oh, oh you can go here, study, study that, study everything's that, fine. But if you don't have the money, nothing, nothing is possible. possible. Exactly. So that is a big that piece of the puzzle, puzzle that you have to figure that out. That you have to figure out. So, right. Canada is great Canada's that great way. That you, way. Can you can figure that puzzle out if you have your PR. You, have your so. PR so. you are getting all hearts for your journey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, do we need to uh, uh, get a BLS uh, course before applying? Yes, BLS, yes certification BLS certification is mandatory. Is mandatory. Okay. So you don't have so to worry about worry that about though. That. After you get your admission and everything, and they will send you, will a, send you a notification or email saying that email submit your VLS certification. certification. Then you wake up then and you, you say, oh, I have to do oh, my certification. Do my and then you go to like registered <laughs> licensed <laughs> places, places, do it right. and then you get it. So don't worry. So don't Sometimes the university Sometimes also arranges for a BLS session for you. So If it's from India, that's all right, right? No, it has to be from okay. Canada. From Canada. Okay, Canada. Yeah. Okay, exactly. Yeah. 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 Um. How? How? 
to have research experience after BDS in India? Good question. Good question. So, uh, so uh, I know that a lot of uh, college, uh, college students, students need ethical approval, need ethical for, their approval for their projects, and projects sometimes it doesn't go through, or they're still voting, and they graduate before that happens. That happens. So, a uh, good way to would be to approach a faculty member because they are yeah. constantly, constantly doing researches. Doing researches. So, speak so, speak to your faculty so members, members, speak to your speak seniors who are doing their MDS. Uh, ask them uh, if ask you can them help them in their research in any way with data collection, data statistics, statistics, you know, uh, writing, uh, the uh, writing the research for, uh, for publication. Uh, publication. So all that so also all counts. That also you will be put as a fifth as a author, author maybe, maybe. Uh, but, uh, but uh, it still counts still towards counts research. Towards research. Uh, another, another thing is you can thing approach you can research approach institutes. Research for example, for I did a fellowship with the Tata Institute of Social Sciences. Uh, with an NGO uh, with called Pokar, called Pokar okay. which was a research-based research fellowship. Based fellowship. Uh, it was yeah. called, um, was called um, my topic was my biomedical topic waste, waste management in private dental private clinics dental in Mumbai and Navi Mumbai. Navi Mumbai. So we yeah. were a group of so we dentists group from my college my who college, uh, did, the uh, did the research. We wrote a 67-page thesis book and we published it. And it was a it was a journey because we were interviewing government officials, dentists. The workers, the workers who actually who collected, actually the, collected waste. the waste. So we yeah. actually went down to the ground level, ground level and took interviews. And we had, and we sessions, had every sessions every Sunday. Sessions every Sunday. So all my Sundays okay. went for an entire for an year, year for, for this. this. So, so morning to evening. Morning and to they, also they also train you about, train you about uh, statistics, uh, statistics, qualitative research analysis, analysis building a questionnaire, building a questionnaire um, ethics, um, ethics and other ethics stuff. And other so you could probably join a program like that, which will give you a lot of exposure for research. Um, right. um, those are my suggestions. Are my suggestions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, where did you do the BLS course from in Canada? I did it from the Heart and Stroke Heart Foundation. And stroke Across so, like, Canada is Canada also Canada there, is also but it got there. sold out before, sold I, could before I could book a seat. So I did okay. it from the Heart and Stroke Foundation, and this year I did it from UBC, UBC itself. itself. So they arranged a session for us in, in the campus, and we did. I did it there. I did it there. So it depends. So. Some yeah, BLS some certifications BLS are valid certifications for two valid to three years. Two some years. are just valid for a year. For a year. Mine was valid Mine for one year, so I had to retake, so retake it this year. So if you take okay. something from the Red Cross, it's valid cross for two or three years, years, and you don't have to do it every, every year. year. Right. Yeah. All right. Um, is there any particular course that we have to go through before applying for dental assistant initially? Uh, there is an uh, exam that you have to give. Okay. Uh, apart from uh, the apart IELTS, from the IELTS exam, exam, which is an aptitude, is an aptitude test aptitude to be a healthcare, to be a healthcare professional, professional, basically. basically. So uh, you need to take that exam, uh, and then once you clear that, you you can apply to hygiene school. Right. And what are your future plans? My future plans future is to plans stay in to Canada, stay in Canada practice, practice as a prosthodontist, as a prosthodontist uh, okay. while also while being also hopefully, hopefully faculty in the university. In the university. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Right. Let's I see if that works see out. That works out. Um, I'm sure it will. Yeah, because yeah, I have some research have interests some research and I think uh, yes, an educational uh, institution, uh, institution, institution like UBC, like which is a world-class research facility, would provide me with the infrastructure and the resources to pursue you my research interest as well okay and uh, what do we have more um h a r p i guess harp certification is necessary for dental assistant yes yes okay uh, so any you, you other can email me and i'll give you the the more details there are two certifications that you need okay yeah. Are there any more options you would like to share for research because the person who is asking is not based in Mumbai? Um, you mean like research, mean like research, after, research after, BDS? after BDS? Yes, in India, but which is not like state specific. Yeah, so yeah, my so options my were not state specific. Not okay, specific. I just gave an okay. example for TISS, for TISS, but you could also do yeah. a research in your own research clinic. Your own clinic. So if okay. you're doing a clinical research, clinical research, you can do your own you research. Your own research. Uh, you need to write a protocol and uh, 
everything and then once, and then you, once you understand, understand the abstract, the abstract and, the and the materials and methods for, yes, your research, for your research suppose you're doing a split mass research, research for example a perio um, um, research, um, research. Yes. so you so i'm just giving an example giving you put low in on one side and, side and you give you know subgingival uh, subgingivally uh, delivered um, antimicrobial so yes. you do a split mouth research so you can do that on the patients in your clinic observe the results measure it and then publish it in a journal so you don't necessarily have to be with an institution the only challenge with doing it as a private practitioner is the financial uh, limitations and resources and the time so, so if you're willing to dedicate to dedicate that amount of that time amount and of financial, financial resource, resource to doing a research, doing a research individually, individually then that's okay. great that's great okay and for people already pursuing mds in india and planning to move to canada later what would you suggest um i would suggest, um, would suggest consider, consider whether you would, whether still, you would want still want to pursue want your to masters, pursue masters here or no masters here or no and if you and would if you then start, start preparing start for your dsck exam. exam if you don't okay. want to pursue the same specialty here and you want to pursue, you a, different you want to pursue a different specialty or you want to go back to school and study the same specialty then um try to attend more cde programs um which would um show that you are that you constantly are building, building yourself to yourself like to towards becoming a better become person a better and a better person, practitioner, a better practitioner. Um, um also it would be also helpful would be to go helpful through the university, the university website, website because, um, because um, the, faculty the faculty members, faculty members largely members drive the research, research interests of the university, of the university. so everyone has everyone a certain has specialty a that they supervise right so um so, if you if can you go through can the go it's through all open it's all open, open information it's available to everyone you can look at the faculty members, members and see whom they have guided, they have guided as a guide as a for the research okay. what topics they have guided them under so maybe you can start so thinking can start of your research topic, topic along, along those lines, lines as well because when you fill your, when you fill uh, your application uh, form they typically ask you about what you want to pursue your research Okay, so, so yeah. basically yeah. the rest of the things as a BDS and for a MDS remains the same, yeah. like yeah. the applying procedure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, can we still apply if we have not done any research? Uh, for, a <laughs> for a master's, you can, but the yeah. chances of you, chances being, of you being accepted, accepted are, not, accepted that are not that high because it's a because research based research master's. Based so masters. if you don't have even don't a single have publication. Have a single publication then i don't know how well that would go down with the people who are interviewing you so it's always an asset to have to have research publications with you uh, and like how many cd points uh, like should, would you suggest like would be necessary for getting into a good university cd points don't CD matter points for getting matter to a university, for university. Yes. cd programs are basically, programs are basically to, uh, to uh, allow you to be eligible to register to renew your registration uh in a lot yeah. of places so continuing dental education is important to reflect your professional goals uh not so much as just collecting the points to present it to a university i think in the us they do ask you for the points but in canada as far as i know they don't ask you for a specific score or a specific cd point all right guys any more questions uh, do 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 you have any um like do, should we go for any coaching f- to prepare for nbd exams when in india good question good so question. um so, um i would encourage would coaching encourage for, the for the acj and the acs, the ACS exams, exams. Okay. Um, um so the acj the requires ACJ a certain requires thought, process, thought process which you need to cultivate need to over, cultivate a, period over a period of time so right. if you if so so let's say, let's say there, is treatment, there is a treatment plan that you need, to make, that you need to make and you have all the information, all with, the you. information with you surgeon a surgeon or doctor a, a doctor will a think of think a different of plan different than doctor b doctor b right because because scientifically, scientifically both are correct both are correct it yeah. depends it on depends which on option which you option think is better think is better but you need to rationalize you need to why you think your option is better and not the other option right 
so in so india maybe we yeah, give we x give option x but in canada they give canada y they option give y option so you need to <laughs> yeah, understand the uh, way, way things work here things work because the laws are different the laws are different um, yeah. um a for secondly, so for secondly the, the reason you need to understand, need to understand that is because, that is because uh, uh, everything needs everything a very strong, a very reasoning, strong behind reasoning behind it, behind it. Right. So I'm not so saying I'm that not it's going to be drastically be different, drastically different, different or the treatment or is the going treatment to be going like to you know something like super something fancy or anything in Canada. Or anything in Canada. But, but sometimes it can sometimes be something, very, something simple very simple and basic, and, basic and, and you don't realize it because you're always thinking about the complicated, about the complicated big stuff, big right? Stuff. Yes. So right. I would encourage so training would encourage for training ACJ for and ACS definitely, and ACS definitely, because, the definitely because the skills exam is exam very very tough. So, okay. so for example so when you're doing a crown prep, prep they say your margin has to be 0.5 mm and your margin is 0.65 or 0.7 mm then you got a lower grade because you right. exceeded the ideal by 0.2 mm that's yes, how that's how uh, strict they are strict they and that's how yeah, competitive that's how the exam is so i would so encourage you to take you to uh, training, uh, for training for the acs, for the ACS in, canada, in canada if you can if you can because okay. um, because, um you would get a sense get a and sense feel and of feel the rules better, the rules better. and um, also working also in this environment, in environment. Um, um, ACJ you can ACJ train you anywhere can train it, doesn't anywhere. Matter. it doesn't matter okay uh, what do you suggest aiming for Canada after BDS or after MDS uh, especially when aiming for oral surgery as our masters definitely after definitely BDS after because BDS. oral surgery is a oral six year program six here, program here. You have to go okay. through general surgery general and oral surgery, surgery as a combined as a masters. Combined so, masters. You so you have to apply to the to hospital, apply to the hospital separately, separately for general surgery. For general surgery. Surgery and general surgery is a combined, six, combined year six, year six, year six year masters. Six year masters. So, so you have to be ready for the long haul. Long it's, long like it's like a marriage. You can't divorce <laughs> the program in the middle and run away because it's a big commitment yes. financially, financially and also. Yeah, also, also, also. Like in India, MDS, if we want to pursue MDS, it's three years for no matter which branch it is. But in Canada, it's different for different uh, branches. No, it's three years for all specialties for all except specialties for oral surgery. surgery. Okay, okay, all right. Um, what, uh, what courses do you suggest to get a PR? Courses to get courses a PR? To get a PR? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Well, Probably don't you know. can write to info at the rest of westwayimmigration dot com because I don't think you need to do courses for a PR. For a but PR, maybe they'll, but be they'll be able to guide you better guide if they know something that I don't. That so I don't think I'm the right person to comment on that. Okay, um, can you please uh, tell us something about the course MSc in Dental Sciences? Yeah. Like what so, exactly it is? So, so MSc in Dental MSc Sciences dental is basically, basically like, like doing a specialty doing a in specialty general practice general residency. Practice residency. Okay. So, so in okay. US, I don't know if you have heard of the AEGD. AEGD. Okay. Uh, advanced, education advanced Education in General, education. In general yeah. Dentistry. Yeah. So it's similar to that. Similar to that. All right. Yeah. But uh, so but MSc in Dental MSc Sciences and MSc in Craniofacial Biology is pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Okay. So, it's research, so it's research intensive also, intensive. not just also. clinical. Not, not just. Um, if doing masters in endodontics in India, what would you suggest one can apply for in Canada? Uh, do uh, your do DSEKE your and, pursue, and pursue, like, just, like do just do the one year training one and, year and, year get, an and get an endo license or repeat or your repeat endo here your endo by going back to dental school because the DSEK is, is not very easy. Secondly, Secondly not all universities not all have universities openings have for openings all specialties for every, every year. year. So they don't accept so they students, don't for, accept gap students for gap training gap always. It depends on the university availability and resources. So, um, so that's another, that's uh, another roadblock, roadblock which you might face. You might face. So you can go so back you and repeat your endo, your which will be totally worth totally it. Worth trust it. me, because it's all micro endodontics here. here. So it's going to be wonderful if you're doing your endo again. Your endo again. It'll, be it. um, It'll be worth it. Any scope for oral pathology in Canada? Yes. So yes. oral and so uh, maxillofacial uh, pathology is a four-year program. Uh, which is, um, uh, which is um, a residency, residency and you're paid for it. Paid for it. 
you get a stipend okay, right. in many universities in many so universities. i think there are only two universities two which offer it which offer it okay uh, ubc and uh, uft UFT. so uh, you can apply for that there's only uh, one seat sometimes two seats and they don't accept students every year it depends on their resources available for students every year um after completing masters in omfs can can we apply for head and neck on co in canada and how there are fellowship, there are fellowship programs, programs but, uh, but uh, there are no there are fellowship no programs in canada which are canada famous which are so people would typically go to md anderson yeah, texas yeah. or they'd go to la, LA or they go to mayo go in, to new in new york to pursue, to pursue a masters, a master's in oncology, in oncology. Head and oncology. like maxillofacial oncology, oncology. Okay, right. Um, just let me see for more questions. Do, so do you get? So yeah. yeah, yeah. This is my uh, just a uh, info. Like, do you get a Diwali holiday there? No. No. Thankfully today Thankfully is a Saturday, Saturday and we have a, holiday. we have a holiday. In fact, I was telling one of my friends today morning, friends today morning that you know in India we used to have a Diwali, have a Diwali vacation. vacation, right? And I took it for granted. <laughs> for granted. And here it's like <laughs> Diwali like is Diwali. like, well, it's Diwali, Diwali so, so nobody uh, really so gives you a holiday. You, you just holiday. take a holiday. <laughs> But yes. thankfully, it's a holiday here. Holiday so. Here. in in dental schools like in canada every weekend be it saturday sunday it's an off i guess yeah saturday sundays are saturday mostly, off, are but mostly off but it's not really an off really an off but yeah on paper it's off, <laughs> paper, it's off. <laughs> yeah. okay um can a bds dentist with one year experience have enough points to apply for pr i guess points uh, again doesn't matter so points From do matter it's called a crs score, CRS score. Uh, okay. again uh, i'm not the best I'd person the best to answer person this question can we earn during um, being in dental school so it, so it's, it, tough it's tough because, because there are a lot of time lot constraints, of time constraints and, uh, and uh, courses are very, courses are very heavy, heavy and demanding, and demanding. So, right. so and don't forget don't you forget. have to do your own do dishes your own cooking dishes. laundry <laughs> cleaning <laughs> yeah so there's this so meme there's i saw meme what saw. people what think people i do think what relatives do, think what i do yes. what i think i do what i actually do and the what i actually do part was me washing dishes and i cannot agree more like i find myself washing dishes twice a day at least so don't forget you have to do all of that plus study plus give study, exams do assignments exam, and work and work good right. luck to you <laughs> like you have that kind <laughs> of superhuman super energy at <laughs> some so to be honest i did work i did work i did work part okay. time part time but uh, i worked, uh, with, I worked this with this company, this company event management company so my shifts used so to be like, like the like night the shifts graveyard night shifts, shifts, graveyard shifts where used to help right. take down weddings down and, stuff. and stuff yeah it was oh, very wow, fun, interesting. Interesting. fun interesting yeah fun interesting, yeah. interesting, yeah. interesting yeah. job so i did do that I did but do that, i got exhausted after, after a point after because, point because, because I, mean, i mean you could choose your you know um what do you say what you could you choose say? your choose shift your you could choose the days you wanted days it wasn't a, wanted. a fixed, wasn't fixed timing or hours or whatever, or whatever. so okay. you get paid by the get hour for whatever you, yeah. whatever you work so yeah. but after a so, point i got really exhausted really because exhausted. i used to work i used to, work. I used to be in school be from 8 school to 5 30 go to the okay. prosto okay. lab finish my prosto work by 6 37 go home eat and then i used to start working at 11 30 in the night and finish at 2 am right Or and again, again, again and then, then you go home yeah. and then at 8 am you have to go back to clinic and it's not a good idea good because idea you're working on patients, on patients. let's not right. forget, let's not forget. Yeah. they're human beings <laughs> so you need to be at your 100% you cannot compromise on that so i gave up on the job very quickly so okay and it's a full time program full-time right program, you're in school from right. 8 to 5 most of the time so So, and uh, most and, uh, dental most clinics dental if you want clinics, to assist want also assist want to work as an assistant also all clinics shut by 6 max so you really don't have a scope of working right uh, do you get stipend during the course i don't get stipend i don't get stipend okay i don't I think don't most think universities most give you a stipend either stipend either right 
asked most of the things have been answered and there was uh, yeah how you got the uh, recipient of the perry forchard academy so like the PF, what's their story PF, yeah so the pf yeah, forchard so academy, academy um, uh, is an international body international which has branches, yeah. all branches all over the world so their india so branch their india sends branch invitations, sends to, invitations all to all the colleges, colleges in india, colleges in india. Okay. and you and the you know the college you know, basically shortlist short applicants, applicants and they send one they entry, send per, one college entry per college to the pf forchard academy, Forshard academy. Right. then the board then the goes board through goes all through you have to submit a ton of documents for that mark sheet cv etc etc et yeah. the body the like the body, committee like the who decides who the decides winners they go winners, through they all the applications they receive and then they choose one person to receive the uh award award right so it's like one person from one country yes so there's an yes, international, so there's international senior international student, student award, award that uh that three, or four, three or four people get and okay. uh, uh so there's also a fellowship also induction fellowship function function that okay. people who that have people um, who have, um finished, finished uh, dentistry uh, and who have shown exemplary, have shown exemplary uh, work, uh, work in 5 years, five they, are years. they are also inducted as fellows so it's a nice okay. ceremony it's a nice ceremony so it's like only those can be you know selected or can be a part of this academy only when we are dental students bda students in india yeah otherwise yeah. otherwise we have no options to do that no and it's it's no, like it's an invitation like an only invitation thing only. so you can't apply yeah. and get apply. membership apply right exactly yeah. okay yeah. they invite you to they be you a to member be or a fellow member or a fellow yes okay doc i guess most of the questions you have answered very beautifully and i'm going to be uploading this on youtube as well for sure so, yeah for sure yeah thank so, you thank so much you for so having much. me for having me please it's my pleasure it has been my pleasure happy diwali happy weekend thank you thank you so much happy diwali to everyone celebrating as well celebrating as well thank you so much and have a really good sleep thank you ashal thank you so much have a great day have a great day. thank you to everyone thank who came everyone and listen so patiently and thank you for all your wonderful all questions, your wonderful questions wonderful as well, as well. we just have last one question this is uh, like interesting just a sec um do ma do a percentage matters and just a second uh, what's the minimum percentage is like is scholarship valid for all okay so let's okay, break so that let's question break into that two question parts into two yeah parts. first i'm going to answer the percentage part percentage part percentage percentage matters but matters, not that much not that much so you don't have to be a batch topper or a class topper or university topper to thank god okay so you can be a good student good student you don't have to be the best student but if you're a good student you have to have other stuff supporting your cv and enhancing it right but of course academic excellence definitely is an asset is an asset the second part of the question was about scholarships which i didn't understand uh is scholarship valid for all i mean like everybody can apply for a scholarship right so there are some, so there are some scholarships which are only for domestic only students for domestic students okay uh, and there are, uh, there are some scholarships, some scholarships only for international for students international students all so, right uh, so uh, there are some scholarships some for everyone for everyone so those are all really right. competitive because really everyone, everyone can apply everyone can apply um right. international, international scholarships are pretty limited to be honest to be honest um okay. you won't find you, won't you can find, count them on your fingers them on your fingers but if you're thinking, <laughs> about, right. thinking about domestic scholarships, scholarships then there are then much there more are much more and just a last question that uh, sports if we are like uh, sports does matter will it enhance our cv resume or whatever if absolutely. it's from india absolutely so when they choose so you as a candidate they don't just look at your look dental, at profile. dental profile so, right. so i'll give you a little I'll anecdote you a little when my interview happened my interview happened yeah. the last question the that last they asked me in my interview it was a one and a half hour interview half i'm not kidding and there were oh six God, people, in okay. the people in the room there were six people in the okay. room okay so they i was bombarded so was with questions, bombarded from with questions from everywhere so i was exhausted, so I was exhausted. first of all i was in jet lag right and yeah it was my first <laughs> international <laughs> trip and i didn't even know what was going on and just like answering questions that were being thrown at me so the last question i got was if you were not a dentist what would you be what would you be yeah 
so that's i said something thing that well i i said i'd be a singer so it depends so if you're good at sports yeah. you can say that you would be a footballer cricketer etc right. so they're always looking for a well rounded personality rather than yeah. someone who's just studying all the time you know they yeah. don't want to see yeah. just max sheets they right. want to see how you would fit into their program whether you would be a good exactly. fit or not exactly exactly yeah. perfect now now we can take a leave okay thank okay. you so much thank you. all right all right thank all you so right. much thank, thank you so much, so much. Bye. see you bye 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 bye